So hello guys, so welcome back to part two of augmented reality, the Elon edition. So in the last video, we were up to here. We essentially got access to the image anchor, which was tracking the cover, book cover. And now what we want to do is we want to place onto that anchor a video of Elon playing and make sure it's tracked. So for that, we need to do two things. First, we need to create a video screen model entity. This would essentially be a mesh, a plane, and on the plane, instead of a normal material, we add a video material. So video materials is new edition and reality kit, which lets you play videos as the material instead of a static image. So by adding the video material onto a plane mesh, we can have what is the equivalent of a 2D screen, which can play video. So as step one, we're gonna create a video screen and then we will place that screen on top of the anchor. So let's do this bit first. So for that, I'm gonna close this and create a new function. Actually, let's create a new section and I'm gonna name this section video screen. So here we'll add in methods to create the video screen model yeah. entity. So first I'm gonna create a function called create video screen. So this would be the main function, and this would accept as input a width and a height, i.e. the dimensions of the screen that we want. So width would be of type float, and height would be of type float as well. And then this would return a model entity. So if you can't remember what model entities are, check out my earlier videos. These are essentially, you need model entities to place onto AR anchors. AR anchors doesn't accept raw 3D models, instead you need to Put it into a model entity. So this should return an object of type model entity. So first what I'm going to do is create the mesh, i.e. the geometric shape. So this would be a plane. So I'm going to create a plane which would be mesh resources generate plane with width of the screen and the height would be the height of the screen and let's just rename it screen mesh to make it more straightforward and then we're going to create the material for the mesh so a, mod a model entity would need a material and a mesh so we got the mesh let's create the material and this would be not a normal material but a video material so you can play a video as on the screen now to create a video material you need first a video item which is the which would take reference to the video clip that we want to play and then we will create the video material. So first let's create the video item. So let video item, and this would be a function called create video item, which would take as input the file name of the video clip that we want to play. Now this brings us to the clip, video clip. We need to download a video clip from the internet to do this. So what I've done is I've gone to YouTube found a royalty free, com copyright free clip of Elon. You can do whatever clip you want. And you can use a website called YouTube to MP4 Converger to convert that into video form. And you can import that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to downloads, get access to the MP4 clip that I just downloaded. And I'm going to drag it on to my project okay. folder. And when I do that, just make sure you again click on add to targets. And now you can see I've got the Elon clip MP4 file here. So this is the name of the clip, Elon clip. That's why I added in the string here, Elon clip. So this function is going to create a video item uh, out of this MP4 clip. Now let's create this create video item function. So let's create that over here, function create video item. So this would be a width of file name, which is of type string and it would return an AV player item, which is optional. So this makes use of the AV foundation kit. So make sure you import the framework, AV foundation, sorry, AV kit. So first we need to create a URL out of this file, and then we can create, using that URL, we can create a video item, which we will then return with this function. So for the URL, I'm going to use a guard statement, guard let URL equals, get access to our main bundle. And then this would be, we need to get access to the resource. So this would be the file name, 
which is elon clip which we pass on to the input of this function this one and then the extension of this file name of this file is mp4 so we're going to type in mp4 here so this is going to create a url out of this file now if such a file does not exist we'll just return the function and exit and not do anything else awesome so that creates a url now with this url we can create the video item for that first i'm going to create an asset out of the url a v url asset and this would be with the url that we just made and then we can create the player item video item so the video item would be a av player item and this would be with the asset that we just made before so in short this function creates a url and creates a video item out of it and then we can return that video item which is of type av player awesome so now if you go back to our main function of create video screen we created the mesh we created the video material and now let's call this function again create video item with file name elon clip now second step after we created the video item is we can create the video material for this we're going to create another function called create video material so let's add that uh, create that below here so i'm going to create a new function called create video material now this would take as parameter a video item which we created here and returned and this would be of type av player item and this would return a video material now inside this function we're going to do two things first we're going to create a video player so this would give you control over when to play and pause and stuff and then we'll create the video material and then we will play the video so every time the material is added the video would just start playing so for the player i'm going to it's simple let player equals of an av player object now the video material would be let video material and this would be a video material which we can initialize with an av player so here we created the video player the av player let's just pass that on here simple as that and now we, we have created a video material with the video player that we created here now this player obviously does not have anything any video item associated with it inside so it has nothing to play that's why we'll take the video item that we just created which has access to the elon clip if you see here and so we'll take that video item of elon clip and then pass it on to this player so over here what we're going to do is player dot replace current item with the video item of elon it's not now this player is not empty it has the elon video clip embedded within it and now we can just simply do player dot play to start playing the video so the material when it starts off it would just have the video playing awesome so that's the video material now let's return this video material that we just made so this function in short creates a video material with a video player which is embedded within it the elon clip and just starts playing now if you go back to our create video screen method after the as part of creating the video material we're gonna create the video material here by calling the create video material with this video item now if i click build you'll see value of type this is an optional type so we'll just force unwrap it because we know such a video exists already and now it should work great so now we got uh, the create video screen function which creates a screen mesh and then creates a video material to go with it and now we can create a model entity so to create a model entity, i'm going to create a new video screen model i'm going to name this video screen model and this would be a model entity now we can initialize the model entity with the mesh which would be the screen mesh and then a material in this case the video material that we just made 
and then with this function we'll return the video screen model awesome so that's it so this function creates a video screen model entity out of a mesh and a video material and this mesh is a plane and you may ask like why did i create separate uh, functions here to create the video item and the material it's just to make the code cleaner and encapsulate functionality and make it more readable which is a good practice so that's uh, create video screen this create video screen function takes makes use of both these methods below which is which is why i place them close to it great now if we go back to our did anchor session delegate method where we get access to the image anchor every time it's detected over here what we'll do is we will create a video model video screen model entity and then we'll place it so we're just going to call this create video screen function over here so let video screen equals create video screen what we want is we want the height and the width to be the same of this plane video screen plane to be the same as that of the image the book cover so we can get access to the image by going to image anchor and getting the reference image and physical size dot width we can do the same thing with height so i'm just going to copy paste that here and replace the last bit with height now if i click build you'll see something's wrong okay type of expression is ambiguous without more context and that's because the image anchor dot reference image or physical size or width returns a cg float type method which we would need to convert to a float so i'm just going to wrap it up with float both here and here now if i click build again it should work fine awesome okay now to make this cleaner i'm just going to take this uh width, uh, this width method and just put it under separate variable let width equals that and let height equals the same thing but height and remove the yeah that looks fine I'm just going to replace this with width, oops, width and height. That looks much cleaner and more readable. So now, so now we got the different pieces of the project ready. We got the video screen as a model entity and we got an image anchor. Next, what we'll do is we'll place the video screen onto the image anchor. So that's locked there. We'll do that in the next video and wrap it up there. So see you there.